Good afternoon, everyone. It's my honor and distinct privilege to welcome everyone here today and to celebrate the love and union of Amber and Brian. Today is the initial step of their journey, their journey towards a long, happy, healthy life together. Quit staring, Brian. If you ask enough married people, what's the secret of a good marriage? You're gonna get a lot of different responses. Love each other, trust, dependence. But the word that strikes me as much as any, compromise, compromise. Today, Amber and Brian have written their own vows. I invite two of them to state and declare their love for each other in their own words. Amber, six years ago on this day, I told you that I loved you for the first time. I knew then, just like I know now, that I wanted to spend the rest of my life making you smile. Brian, before I met you, I never wanted to get married, and now I can't imagine my life without you. I never wanted to have children, and now we have 15 baby names picked out. Now when I think about my future and my forever, I think of you. You're strong in the face of challenge. You make me feel found when I'm lost. You've even made me more of a glass half full kind of guy, which Hildebrands aren't really known for. I promise to make you feel seen, heard, supported, and loved. I am so happy to see your beautiful eyes, infectious smile, and adorable dimples every day for the rest of my life. I vow to love you faithfully and, un <laughs> and unconditionally until my last breath. You deserve everything good this world has to offer. I love you and I am so excited and happy to become your wife right now. It's my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Hildebrand. Brian, you may kiss your wife, Amber. Good evening. Dale and I would like to thank each and every one of you for taking out the time to come and share an Amber and Brian's celebration of marriage. So Amber is my oldest friend. We've known each other since we were about two years old and had so many ventures in over 20 years of friendship. Throughout high school, college, we grew closer and closer. And now we are closer than ever since we purchased homes about 40 feet away from each other. Amber and I share a great many things in common. A love for warm weather, traveling, boat rides, and Harry Potter, just to name a few. And funny enough, Amber and I are complete opposites. We've joked many times over the years about how it must work because we balance each other out so well. Brian has so many wonderful qualities. He is caring, kind, loyal. He is a wonderful son and an incredible big brother and role model. I never got a brother. He was always my brother. I watched him grow up into what he is today. We went through junior high, high school, college, and now we live in houses a block away from each other. We are so incredibly proud of him for following his dream and pursuing his passion along the way that he met some incredible friends that are standing beside him right now. Most importantly, he met the love of his life. When Amber first introduced me to Brian, it was clear from the very beginning that what they have is going to last a lifetime. Instantly, I could tell how genuinely happy he made Amber and how perfect they were for each other. She's our princess and we're delighted she's found her prince. You have already shared so many fun adventures together May today be the beginning and the best adventure of your lives. Cheers.
live life well. When joy comes your way, make sure you celebrate it. Let anger die quickly. Patience can wait for anything. No one to be quiet. Take a deep breath. It calms the mind. Things can change in the blink of an eye. But don't worry. Keep your faith in God. God never blinks. And the best is yet to come.